Howdy ho, boys and girls. Back with the very early Labor Day morning edition of Gaming Wisconsin Bleed. Uh, today I'm bringing you a pale ale that actually kind of fits the theme. I, I didn't plan for this whatsoever, but it's the Pseudo Sue Pale Ale out of the, what, Toppling Goliath Brewing Company in Iowa. As you can see, there's a cool dinosaur on it. Sometimes I do buy beer just based on the label. And I was at a liquor store and... I like pale ales, and there's a di or dinosaur on it, so... What can you do sometimes? It's a visual thing. We'll pop this fucker open, then we'll get started on Bonk's Adventure on NES. Not too much fun with this guy. This is a big-ass can. I'll have to go back to the others later. There it is, nice golden pale ale. It's not too bad. <sighs> Some eight in the morning IPA for you. It's uh, not IPA, but whatever. It's a little much, right? I want to start on Box Adventure. All right, so Box Adventure is uh, a game really like made famous for the Turbo Graphics. On the NES, it was largely unknown, just because it kind of came out late, it's kind of rare. It's a hard to find game. I'm, I'm not very good at Bonk, so if you see this and you're like, dude, this guy's garbage, well, yeah, I'm sorry, I am kind of garbage at this game. I don't really, like, I know jack all about Bonks. I, I've played a little bit of it on Turbo. But I haven't played, like, a ton of it. Like, I didn't er like own a Turbo at all growing up as a kid. I knew one person that had one, and he didn't have Bonk, so... What can you really do? So as a platformer, Bonk is, like, super easy. I don't know if the later games actually get harder. I would imagine they do, but... I don't know. Sorry about that, I actually started, uh, street- You motherfucker! Ugh. I started streaming earlier, so like, part of my setup is... Like, thinks there's a stream or something going on. Yeah. You piece of shit. This is the only thing I don't like about Blanc, because it's like... Kinda hard to control his headbutt sometimes. It's like a weird mechanic, it doesn't feel great. Jesus Christ, did I already die? Okay. Sorry about that, I'm having difficulties this morning. This shit's just too intense for me this early. Piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah, it always feels like Bonk is kind of on ice. Oh, cat. Why must we do this? Lost my power up. No. I think my cat's hungry. My wife's always the one that feeds him. Okay, there's a bonus stage on there. We're gonna have to recoup an extra life here because I did so bad. Can I help you? No. Alright, I can play here. So yeah, is game, like... I know I'd own sooner or later. I guess I kind of paid a premium on it, but uh... I forgot that eBay nowadays you have to pay taxes on everything you buy, which totally sucks, because before you just pay whatever the item price was. And you never had to worry about the taxes, so it was great. And now it's like, dude, everything is everything is literally five point you know, five percent higher in Wisconsin through eBay, which sucks. So eBay is no longer like really a great deal. Unless you find shit underpriced, which, you know, Especially in the post-COVID world, it's not exactly an easy thing to earn. 
But as usual, for anyone who's watched this channel, who's watched these gaming Wisconsin please, you know that I am a filthy reseller. So it's not like I'm ever really out of money for video game and bullshit related activities. <laughs> yeah, I am funny. Everybody's, everything I put into it, I put back to it, so it's... No, I'm not, not exactly hurt as far as, hey, if I want to buy a rare game, I can buy a rare game. No, I can't buy, like, a thousand of them. But, you know. The bonks here and there isn't going to break the bank. Now, would I love to just shell out for bonks, Hagane, and fucking the rest of the stuff I need? Of course, but... That is something that I can't do. Yeah, right now I actually just bought a bunch of shit, so it's like I gotta, I gotta start selling again. There you go. First time I played through Bonks, I, I really sucked at the bonus stages, so I didn't have like a ton of lives. But it's not exactly a hard game either. There are some hard things, like these enemies that suck my balls. But the bosses can be pretty hard. You'll see those. There's a whole bunch of bosses in this game. And I will say, beer at like 8, 8.30 in the morning. It's, uh... For some reason, it goes down easier on an empty stomach for me. Not a big breakfast guy, so... This is, this is working for me. It's fine. I don't have a problem. You have a problem. <laughs> I don't want to be stabbed. <laughs> yeah. Fucking dinosaur. <laughs> Wake up, you piece of shit. <laughs> Some of the animations in this game are pretty goofy. <laughs> From go the other way. Oh, uh -oh. being a piece of shit. Oh boy, I'm sucking ass at this. Oh, no. <laughs> oh yeah, you come to bonk. I like that you're like in a dinosaur's stomach and there's like tapeworms and shit and all sorts of weird junk in here. That's kind of cool. That's one thing you can say about this game is like, you know, it's actually really like pretty. The graphics are cool. Say what, say what you will about the gameplay because it's like fairly uninspired. Like I look at this game and I look at Batman and I find like there's two completely different games. And then like, a good middle ground game between the two would be like Jackie Chan's Ash and Kung Fu, but... You know, what are you gonna do? Hey, fuck you! God damn it! You're supposed to be able to headbutt the bubbles? See, like, I don't know. I just had to stay like underneath his nose specifically. But yeah, you find all these corrupted dinosaurs and then you just turn them free, I guess. Oh shit. Oh, it's too early. Can't keep track of what the hell I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> Oh, right, so, just to get, piece of shit. No! Oh. Just to go off on a tangent. So I recently found a link for Pat Country's uh, NES guidebook. You know, uh, whatever the fuck, the, the big review book that he has on games. 
I don't actually agree for the most part about the games, but there's some you can tell it's just like, oh yeah, fuck, this is a Mario. There's some you can tell where it's just like, eh, I don't know what you're thinking. For example, he gave a better rating to Bonk's Adventure than Batman on NES, and it's like, to me, that's blasphemous. Like, both are good, but both are good in their own ways. I always view Batman as like, it is the perfect platformer in NES. It, it shows off literally, like, what you can do with the NES. It has, like, the best music, extremely tight controls, it, it's good difficulty, like, gets harder as the game goes on. It's, like, literally fucking everything you'd want from the NES. But yet, it's, like, somehow Bonks, Bonks scores higher than Batman. It's, like, Bonks is fun. I'm playing it right now. I'm having fun. It's a good game. Um, but to me, is it in the same league as Batman? Or even, like, Jackie Chan's action kung fu? No. It, it sure as hell doesn't feel like it. I'm sure there'd be some pissed off Turbo Graphics fans and tell me to go fuck off real quick, but... I'm not, like, a Bonk fan. I, I, you know, like I've said, I've never... I played a little bit of Bonks and Turbo, and that's about it. Maybe a little bit on Game Boy, too, but... Ah! I... Ah! Okay. Oh, cool! Oh, cool. See, this is the hard part. It's like, eh, this is how do you get it? Yeah, for anyone who's watched my channel, I, I will talk about Batman for like fucking hours. I, I, it is such a good game, so... To me, for anything to be rated higher than Batman, it's gotta be something pretty goddamn special. Yeah, I like this guy. This dinosaur and his big shitty grin. Fuck you, Dayline. Out of here. Yeah, the controls are not the greatest in this game. They really are hurt. Like, he just walks with like this... Like, every time you jump, he jumps a little bit forward. It's not quite like Castlevania where you're like stuck completely forward, but it's... It's enough to definitely be annoying sometimes. Like, I feel like with just a little bit tighter controls, it'd be... What the fuck? See, like, that's the thing. He just, like, he just flies. Oh, this is so good. Uh. At some point, you really see about power levels, uh... Get your life meter up a little bit. I might have missed some, I'm not sure. Those... See, like, these little guys, like, goddamn. Sometimes it's just hard to get them. Oh, ow. You know what platformer I need to be and I never have is, uh, Little Nemo. I used to love that game as a kid, and it's just like, that game is pretty hard. It would be fun to go back and try to beat it. This, I think I just need to get 50 flips. I could be wrong. What? You fucker. I don't quite understand, like, how to always land on your feet or not. Okay, you just gotta be... I see... Well, I done fucked up. I wanna say those are the ones where if you hit it too much, they turn into enemies. This, this to me is like, eh. Fuck it!
It's about this beer, it's definitely not the strongest pale ale. It's actually pretty mellow in flavor. And I generally like the stronger stuff, to be quite honest. I mean, that's what the Indian pale ales are. They're a little bit stronger than this. That's my preference. But if you like light pale ales, this is probably right up your alley. Fucking birds. Excited for football coming up here. The, the first, tr oh, nice. the first stream I actually did was for uh, Madden 2007 on uh, on PS2. Don't ask why. I've always been a big fan of Madden, so like I do not mind fucking carping in a Madden, just throwing down any any day of the week. And I just got uh, Madden 12 for PS2. I don't know, like. Half you guys are like, oh, it's gay, it's Madden, whatever. I don't care. I fucking love Madden. N not the new shit. I haven't played a new Madden in a while. Because I feel like in the new Maddens, and maybe this is the case in the old ones too, I don't know, but... I feel like you can just get the best receiver in the league and just throw bombs to him like all day long, and there's just not jack shit you can do about it. Damn it. Ugh. Fuck. This is the only reason why you need lives. Just for boss fights in this game. The controls are like just bad enough where they like the bosses are kinda hard. Like what you have to do is get the jump on them and just like sit on top of them forever, but it's not that fucking easy. God, like the controls are just so bad sometimes. Like they're really not good. Ugh. Ugh. I'm trying, brother, I'm trying. God damn it. I'm fucking trying here. God. It's just like, he has so much weight to his character that it's just like... like... He has so much weight and he's also like on fucking ice skates. So it's just kind of frustrating sometimes to control his stupid fat ass. There you go. I only have two lives, gross. Thankfully later in the game they give you a shit ton, but still, I'm like, I'm playing really bad. Like, before when I was playing this, I actually got like the perfect, like, cycles on these guys where it's just bouncing on them and... It was nice and easy, but... You know, maybe that's the thing, like, when you're trying to talk, play, and drink at the same time, it's just like, sometimes it's a perfect storm of just nothing works, right? Ooh, carrots. Just getting this fucker to go the right way. Like, when you compare, like, expensive platformers, Alright, let's not fuck this up. If you compare expensive platformers to like this or like Little Samson, I find Little Samson to be a much better game than this. 40, is that good enough? Fuck, I do need 50, that sucks. But yeah, I find Little Samson to be much more of, like, a complete game. Like, I think this game does everything it, it set out to do. It's not bad, but it's just, like... You play it, and it just feels like it's on a slightly lower level. Than, like, Little Samson, or... I haven't really played Dino Peak enough to say jack shit about it, really. I mean, it was okay. It didn't seem bad, but... Navigate 
this stuff. Uh. But yeah, like, my, my favorite two platformers really are, well, like, okay, Mario 3, I, I guess, like, I'll, I'll put 3 in there. I generally just ignore the Mario games just because they've, like, been talked about so much. I feel like they can't even be in a discussion for games anymore. It's like Zelda. Like, what's the best game on the system? I feel like you can't even say Zelda anymore. For some fucking reason. God damn it. But yeah, no, it's like, okay, it's... For me, it's like Mario 3, Batman, and Jackie Chan's Ash Kung Fu. Those are my three favorite platformers. And there's a lot of other decent ones. You know, I actually, this game for me is in like the exact same boat as like Felix the Cat. Where it's like, it's pretty good. I wouldn't say there's big problems at all with it, but you know, it's, it's pretty average. I need to go back and play as like Widget and uh... Oh, like Wacky Racers, for example. Like, Wacky Racers and Bonks. They're both, like, giant sprite games. They're both pretty easy. I'd say Bonks is definitely harder. I think Bonks is only hard, I think, because the controls are just slightly shitty. Look at that. It's actually kind of funny. It's cute. Yeah, like Felix the Cat, you can beat it first time every time. Like you're never gonna have a problem with that game. <laughs> yeah, Wacky Racers. Wacky Racers is actually somewhat hard just because of the bosses. So I wouldn't say, like, you're just immediately going to beat and finish the game just because you played it. Like, those boss fights get pretty difficult. The, the only saving grace is, like, you can get a billion lives in that game. So it's... Just for that reason alone, it's hard not to beat it. Six hearts is the limit. I'm just trying to get to six and then fill them up. And then the bosses should be a hell of a lot easier. I gotta get down there. Yeah. So this is one of those platformers where like none of the like items here are all that hard to get. Whereas in other games, like they might put them in locations that make you think for a minute, like how do I get there? You know, do I have to bounce off an enemy in order to do it? Kind of like DuckTales, for example. Like that game, you kind of have to know the little secrets and stuff in order to get everything. Box, well, not so much. It's like, oh, there's an item. All you have to do is go grab it. Like these, they're right there. You can just go get them. These enemies aren't gonna fall ya. Yeah, what's the, what's the lore of Box Adventure? I don't have the instruction manual. It's expensive. So that's this boss. You just gotta basically jump on. Him. Yeah, yeah, I did it. Raw grog. Oh dear. Alright, 
on four. I think there's only six, so we're we're getting there. So yeah, what game should I play next? I actually I think I know what's coming next is uh Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Hyperstone Heist. God damn it. For anyone that doesn't know, it's basically the Genesis version of Turtles in Time. It's a little different. There are different, like, enemies and shit. You know, it's not the exact same game at all. It's actually quite different. But I... I gotta go back and play Turtles in Time, because, like, I didn't realize Hyperstone Heist is so good. Until I started playing it, it's like, holy shit, this game is... Probably top 10 Genesis games, for sure. It's a really good beat em up. Yeah. yeah, Genesis is one of those systems I really want to get back and play more of it. I have a giant Genesis collection, I just like, for some reason, it's just not the system I navigate to. So it's a system I really need to go back to and, and play a lot of the classics, you know, like Landstalker, I've never really played through it, I think I have it. And like a lot of the shoot 'em ups I'm not, I'm personally not a big shoot 'em up fan. Fuck, ah, shit. Because most of them feel like bullet hells to me. I'm just, like, not good at that style of game. I, we basically just have to remember every single fucking bullet pattern. I'm just trying to find an extra life thing. Yeah, it's like, I really liked Life Force and NES, but even that game was like hard as shit. I just grew up with it, so I was a huge fan of it. Just because it's cool, it's creepy, like it plays really well, it's just like hard as fuck. It's like unfairly hard. Or if you don't know the patterns, especially in the fire level, like... And then there are plenty of levels where it's just like, oh, okay, you have to basically go this one certain way. Otherwise, there's no way you can actually complete the level, like, in the first level. Like, there are certain ups and downs that you have to go, and you wouldn't know that, like, in your first casual playthrough. It's like, it doesn't even give you the time to react to it, which kind of sucks. And then there's, like, games like Gradius, uh, I think Gradius is kind of the same way, Gradius, whatever the hell you want to say. Oh, yeah, shit. I say, I know there's a fine line, I... Fucker. Alright, I gotta actually do this this time. No! God damn it! Fuck! <laughs> I really need extra lives. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Gradius 3 is like my arch nemesis. This game is just like, it's going to ruin me. I want to get in the center. There we go. For real? Yeah, whoever created those, uh, spider bosses in Gradius 3 can go fuck themselves. So, whatever developer that was, you know, I don't like you. You're an asshole. Like, who the hell designs those things and thinks, like, oh, that's fun. It's such a small, tight area, you can't do jack shit, and these things just wreck your ass. Then you have to respawn, you have no fucking items, and then it's, like, just impossible to beat them. By that time, you're a dedicated 45 minutes into the game. You can't do shit about it. Oh, 
shit. Why bonk? God damn, you're at ice skates, bro. Ugh. I like his nice little head of hair. Let's oh. pour the rest of it here. Again, the the pseudo soup pale ale out of Iowa. That's the thing level. You can just skip like every boss. Okay. Alright, stop fucking around here. Fuck, I had it! No! God damn it. God. Why is that one hard all of a sudden? Every every one of these bonus levels just needs to be the climbing stage. From this point on. Like, I actually need these extra lives, like, kind of bad. Oh god, what's happening? I'm not good at mashing, so... Eh. Uh, we go all the way around. First. Can I get up there? God damn it. That, no. This, this one's actually like not even that hard. I only have four lives, which is not really that good. I can't remember if there's one more hard boss other than the end boss. The end boss is pretty hard. It like takes a fucking hour to kill. It's like I really want to be pimped out for him. Just have like a billion lives if I need it. Because that boss is like any other boss in the game. You can just basically stun lock him forever, but... It's a little hard to get up to him. I have full lives. I, all I need are extra lives at this point. Damn, fuck you birds. that anymore, so I went the wrong way. Now. This is kind of the start of the end. I think it is. The last stages really aren't that long, and I think this is this might be this might be the last one. I can't remember. This is a pretty short game. Oops. Spikes are not the easiest thing in the world to avoid. Their 
hitbox is like pretty big. <laughs> Fuck you. Alright, here's a free life. Give me that. Or no, maybe that's not a free life. What? Maybe I have to get. I don't, I don't really know how this works. I don't know if you have to get, like, X amount of those smiley faces in order to get a free life. Not. I don't obviously have. Okay, I'm not a big, like, inbox collector. I do have a bunch of boxes for games I really enjoy, but I generally don't spend, like, that much on my box shit. So a game like Bonk's Adventure, I would not have complete in box, unless, like, I somehow find it for an absolute steal, but... I'm not one of those guys that has high hopes of walking into a garage sale and just finding, like, a box copy of Bonk's. Just... You know, it just doesn't happen that often. I'm lucky if I find fucking anything other than a Wii at a garage sale at this point. And truth be told, like, I used to do a lot of garage sales, and it's like, man, there's really... For everyone that says, oh, I found all this shit at a garage sale, like, nine times out of ten, you go to a citywide, you don't find jack shit other than, like, some Wii stuff, and you spent eight hours. <laughs> you know, like... At some point, it's like, what is your time worth? And you kind of have to factor that in with garage sales. Like, I found... The last time I went, I went to two city-wides. Obviously, this is in the COVID area, so, like... There aren't as many as there used to be. But, uh... God damn. You know, my buddy went out, we found some Wii's, you know, like, okay, yippee, you can resell those for a little bit. The price is starting to go down on them, but, you know, they, they still hold some value, but as far as games go, there's like a couple DS games, some Wii games, and that's, that's it. We asked every single fucking person if they had, god damn it, I always do that. Yes, every single person if they had stuff for sale, and the answer is just like, no. For everyone that's just saying, oh, I'm just I'm gonna go to garage sales and get thousands of dollars worth of shit. Like, good luck, dude. That's so rare. Fuck you. God damn it, get your thing. Fucking block. God. Fucking asshole. Oh, the controls are bad. They're just not very good sometimes. This unresponsive horse shit. Fuck you. Uh. Something better. Do I, how many lives do I have? Four? That's really not very good. God, you fucking asshole! Fuck you! <laughs> there we go, that's the thing I wanted. I don't even give a shit. I really wish I had like six, seven lives though. Four seems really shitty. 
Because there's a big boss rush coming up here. God. Fucking assholes. Oh. Oh. There we go. Give me lives. All I need to do is not fuck up on like that second boss as bad as I did. That was like atrocious. There is a boss rush that comes up here, so. Kinda have to work your way out of it again. Course. The is mine struck back. She's the moment. Last level was like forever. It's a shame I fucked up so bad in the early game. Like, he looks like he's shit in water. There. Let's finish this up here. Stop fucking this up. It's normally pretty easy, so I don't know why I'm doing it. There we go. There we go. Tell this is the end of the game, like the music. It's just the music. Your ears an extra life, right? Ten of those things which does something. Yeah, I don't really need that, but I'll take it. Sneaky drizzing here. Carrots, fucking carrots, man. Alright, here's the NES boss rush. That's the thing, it's like before, okay, you just gotta stay like underneath his nose. Oh, piece of shit. There we go. <laughs> this guy, I had struggled with really bad last time, so. Fucking ninja dinosaur or something. So 
at some point, he basically stops taking hits. There we go. She's got like weird invincibility frames. Or you you apparently just can't like fuck on him as much as you normally can. But I'll take that, that was a way better fight than the last time. That wasn't bad at all, then it's gonna hook me up here. It's some good shit. This the end boss is just pretty hard, so I like to I like to have some extra lives if I can. I gotta focus here. No! Fuck! That was a bad one. You got six lives? Okay. Yeah, I'll keep getting refills. It's like, I'd like to just save all of those extra lives. Where's the boxer guy here? That was a good fight. I'll take that. Him and his beautiful hair. Okay. This isn't bad. I think I'm actually doing better than the first time I played this game. It really is just all about getting the right spot in the end boss here. There's my princess, I think. Maybe she's the evil thing. I don't know. Like, you have to hit just that little spot. It's kind of hard. Oh shit, that's my mistake. Whoa. Okay, bro. That's the hard part. It's like, okay, how do I just... How do I start landing hits? That's really all I want to do. <sighs> Fuck. It's like such a shitty pattern, you know? You here? God, move, Bonk! Cocksucker, he doesn't move! Like, he just gets, like, frozen sometimes. You prehistoric piece of shit. Shit. God, he's like stuck in mud. Like seriously, he's just stuck. <sighs> this really is, it's tough. It's like, dude, he doesn't fucking move. He like stops. It's the worst momentum mechanic ever. And the hit boss in this boss is so fucking weird. God, I really don't like this at all. There, there's half of them. Seven lives left. Uh, it's not done yet, brother. Pretty sure it's not done. I want to say that was only half of it.
So I think now I have to like go to the moon and fight him again. Or I gotta fight a different guy. It was like just as aggravating. Now he takes like 50 hits, so... One volley off is cool. See, it's like, now I've pissed him off! See, like, the controls really don't lend themselves in this kind of battle, like, at all. It's like, I get what they're doing. It's like... Ooh, I think I got him. I think I got him. I think. I gotta do something with a stupid fucking crown or something, I don't remember. Ah, there we go, okay. I got him. It's all good. So that's Blanc's adventure. Uh, for me, I'd give it probably a solid three and a half out of five stars, maybe a four at most. It's a really pretty game. It has pretty good music. The controls leave a little bit to be desired. It, it's not great. Like, you have your top platformers, and then you have, like, Blanc's right underneath the top ones, I'd say. You know... I, maybe better than a Felix the Cat by a little bit, but definitely below like a Jackie Chan's Action Kung Fu. It's in the weird gray area, below Little Samson. If you just want to talk about rare platformers, so there it is. Uh, it's now like 9:30 in the morning. We'll finish up the the parallel here. It's a rough pill to swallow. Anyway. If you guys are looking for something, the Pseudo Sue Pale Ale rawr, has a big old dinosaur on it. Where the hell's the camera? Rawr. It's not bad. It's a light pale ale. It doesn't have a strong aftertaste, so might be a really, uh, really good beginner ale. So if you see it, try it. It wasn't cheap, so it's not like you can just pick it up on a whim. It's like ten bucks for a four pack of cans. Not the greatest value, so. Anyway, that's Bunks. Thanks for hanging with me. Have fun. Stay safe. All that good shit. Bye. Thank you.